And uh, I was reading the 2019 annual report of the AAPG, and I found out that AAPG has no an official position statement on the climate change. Uh, how do you explain that? Uh, we do. Uh, we just put it out. So when? Uh, three days ago. Ah, okay. So we, is that the same statement that was worked out by the, by the ad hoc committee that no. proposed it? No, you change no. it. No, what we is, did is uh, that, is it easy to find in the website? It if you look, uh, I don't know where it's at in the website yet, but if you look into this month's explore, the there's an article that the statement is in there. Yes, we believe in a lot of things going on, but you know there's. Uh, there's science behind some of it and, and a lot of it. I mean, it's not some of it, all of it. And it's just how you have to look at the science. But yes, we posted that out there. It's just gone out. In uh, the annual report, um, I read this. Um, uh, I'm going to quote it so that you can help me understand what which part has been changed. It says, the AAPG recognizes the abundant and compelling evidence that human activities are a key factor in current climate change, as referenced in the collective authoritative statements of the Global National Academies of Science in the comprehensive analysis on climate science as presented by the IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel of Climate Change. Well, now, where did you found that in our report? Uh, yes, this is the, it comes out from an ad hoc committee well, right, that right, proposes right, right. it. Well, the problem is with that ad hoc committee, that ad hoc committee was, was set up to go in and look at publishing articles on climate change and look at that. They did a statement, which they can do as a member, and we looked and vetted it. Sea level was 400 meters, meters lower 17,000 years, 17 to 20,000 years ago, and we have massive sea level rise from about 20,000 years ago to about 8,000 years ago. It was massive, and you saw it coming up. Man was not around at that time. So that was all a natural phenomenon. Now, I don't disagree that man has a part in, in CO2. We put out CO2 just even when we breathe and when we deforest, that's a problem, agriculture is a problem. So yeah, to say that man doesn't have a footprint would be wrong, but how big is that footprint and what it amounts to? Because we know we've had events in the past where the ice sheets have retreated tremendously, have been retreating for the last 17,000 years. Uh uh, can you uh, find and read us the statement uh, that you have on uh, climate change uh, in the AAPG website? Well, I will direct you to, you can go to the AAPG website to explore and read it there because I don't have a copy right in front of me. Yes. Um, and this is in the last... Uh, the May Explorer. Okay. So we should find uh, May. May. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm looking for it. I'm here in explorer.aapg.org, feature articles, uh, geoscience programs. If it's been posted up, they, they're posting it up as we speak, uh, you know, and I don't know if they've got it fully posted up. You'd have to just look at the date, whether it's April or May. So you're, is it in May or in April? What, May, uh, it's May. May, yeah. Do you see my screen? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's after, so, I think this may be last month's right here. So, so where do I go now? Well, they just hadn't got it up yet. So just kind of watch, it'll be up here in the next couple of days. All right, so uh, just to be clear, the APG now has an official position statement on climate change. And it was uh, discussed a few days ago. It is not online yet. And uh, we're gonna wait for it. Uh, can you tell us in few words what is the gist of the um, of the statement? You know, I would rather not try to paraphrase it. I'd just soon everybody yes. read it, and that way they could they could uh, make their own own decisions. And uh, Mike, do you, uh, do you remember if um, the statement supports the Paris Paris Agreement? I I do not I do not. Uh, let's let people read it and and answer it. I'm not going to go in and start talking about it. Uh, at this point, members need to read it and people need to read it and see what's there. Okay, okay. The good thing uh, about this, U the U.S. US uh, is one of the few places that actually met its Paris Accord and uh, they're not even part of the agreement. So you, you are implying that APG is not part of the agreement? 
With no, it's not part. I mean, if it's support, so if it's support the agreement to reduce the increase of global temperature. Yeah, uh, you have to read it. We've got things in there. We've got language in there, and, and I'll let you all read it. Okay, so it's not so clear as to say, yes, AAPG agrees with Paris Agreement. It's more complicated than that. I'm going to let you read it, and I'm not going to say that. I, when you read it, you'll understand it and what we're talking about. Okay. And then you were mentioning before that the APG is engaging the energy transition. And so we were mentioning about the new generation that would like APG to embrace this energy transition as well as the reduction in the, uh, in, in the CO2. Uh, so aren't you worried of not serving these members? Well, that, that's fine. I mean, you got to realize that AAPG is a big organization. We got uh, roughly, I think, 30,000 members. The purposes of AAPG, you know, is to promote the sciences as it pertains to petroleum, natural gas, and other subsurface fluids. So when we look at that, we can talk about the Paris Accord and stuff like that. But the bottom line is that a lot of our people work in the oil and gas industry. And we have membership there that we have to... Uh, we can't go in and take one side to the other. We keep in mind we're a petroleum organization, and the, the vast majority of our memberships make their livelihood in the petroleum organization, and so we have to kind of embrace that. Uh, and I shouldn't say embrace it, but we have to go in and realize that fact as we make policies that affect our membership. Uh, uh, sorry, um, it says that my video has been disabled because I start screen sharing. Can you see me now? Nope. No. Nope. Yeah, no, I can. Uh, all right. So, um, so are there members in the AAPG that they deny the climate change? Well, I can't point and say there's members that deny it uh, um, out there, but I mean, uh, we know there's a lot of things that that are happening out there, and and you know. We had people, we've got people all over the country that have different opinions on this thing. And and from our standpoint as a leadership, we have to respect the opinions of our membership, look to the science as best we can, and come up with a uh, policy that, that fits what we see out there. And, and there's a lot of different. We definitely know that there's been a big natural deal towards uh, global uh, climate change. And we know it's happened throughout history, the geological history. At one time, the earth was an ice ball. It was totally froze over. Back in the 70s, everybody said we were going into an ice age. So there's a lot of things out there we don't fully understand. And we go in as, as a group, we rely on peer-reviewed science. And that's what we were trying to do with the ad hoc committee was look at peer-reviewed science, just plain straightforward. 20,000 years ago, the glaciers started retreating and they've been retreating ever since. Man didn't cause that. You look at CO2 curves, there's a lot of things we don't understand about those things. And, and I constantly try to read on it and I don't have the answers, And but I know a lot of the stuff that's put out there that's, that's said to be peer reviewed is not peer reviewed. It, it's articles being put out by people that aren't in the geological realm, but there's a lot of it that is. And I, I go out as, as a person that wants to know the answers, I go out and read as much information as I can. You know, so, Mike, when you, but I, uh, I read the the annual report what the ad hoc committee proposed. That and, ad hoc uh, committee I, was not charged with coming up with a statement. They were that, charged in bringing peer reviewed data forward, and they did not do what they were what, charged. What with. do you what do you disagree with uh, those quotes? What what is that you disagree with? Well, I'm not going to get into breaking it down. I mean, I'm not wanting to get into a, a climate debate because. My opinions don't matter what I think on the climate. Well, I mean, no, I mean the association, because this is important because the members, and especially the young generation, they're really interested in which kind of association they are uh, going to belong. So this is a very important topic that uh, uh, the members or the non-members, they would like to know. So the quote is like pretty simple and uh, short. Yeah. So... Uh, I would like to know if there is something that you disagree with. It says the AAPG recognizes the abundant and compelling evidence that human activities are a key factor in current climate change, as referenced in the collective authoritative statements of the global National Academics of Science and the comprehensive analysis 
on climate science as presented by the IPCC. On that deal there, that was not a sanctioned deal. I'm an officer of the association. We came up with a statement. People can read it online and see what's there. The problem with that statement, if you want to look at problems, that was like seven, eight members out of 14,000 voting members. So okay. I can get you seven or eight members that would say exactly the opposite of that. And, and you know, whether they're right or wrong, and we can debate whether they're right or wrong. That's why we came up with a statement. We put it out. Our members will debate that statement. They will make comments. That statement may get uh, uh, worked over down the road more, but it'll be put in front of the members. It doesn't matter what Mike Party says at this point. It's what our members think, and we're putting it out to our members to do it. Mm -hmm.